All right, y'all. It's your boy, Chad. Uh, we are here playing some paladins. Uh, I normally just do just gameplay video, no actual voice uh, or anything like that. But uh, I do stream quite often, so I figured I might as well just make an extra effort and make, start putting a, a face on here on the YouTube videos and uh, just give me a basic layout, but not of what I'm doing uh, when I stream. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to be trying to shoot for. Uh, I think we're going to play some more Tyra. Uh, well, of course, I'll show them. Let me go, just go ahead and show you real quick my game, the, the champions I've been playing the most. And Jocks is, of course. I usually, I basically have one champion I play a lot of out of uh, the three or four roles, the four roles that there are. Um, I do play a lot of Fernando, of course. A lot of Ruckus. The frontliners. Ying, she's incredible. Ying is just fantastic. Stack it. Love you. Um, I do play some Grover as well. Grover's kind of like that, uh, that support I play when we have a tank. We could use a little a little more tankiness uh, and some heal as well. I try sometimes go with uh, the Grover, but Grover's a good character as well. I'm not sure where we're going to go here. I t usually like to play whatever it is that they need. Or whatever the team comp needs, I should say. But... We shall see. We shall see. Thank you guys again so much. For those of you that are watching the video, I really, really appreciate you guys stopping out, showing some love to the channel. It means a lot. I, as I did say, uh, state earlier, I do play. Excuse me. Well, I do play games on Twitch as well. I'm trying to make that, uh, like I said, a career. One of those slow but uh, steady things. So that's what we're here doing. So let's go. Our tortoise. Sometimes the use can be a little bit long. This is the uh, closed beta, and for the most part, I feel like the game is pretty solid. It runs pretty smoothly. Uh, my biggest gripe is probably the fact that uh, sometimes, whenever uh, you actually get a queue, it'll just takes it'll, there'll just be such huge lag spikes, or I'm not sure exactly what you would consider, but huge glitches where you'll hear it pop up, but you won't see it pop up until it's too late, and then you get uh, uh, disciplined, or you'll get like a little five minute deserter, where you'll get to the game finally. <laughs> It'll literally take up to 30 seconds, which is how much time they give you to pick a character uh, for the game to actually load up, and then by then you can, you've already gotten a deserter. So that's just one of the, the very few frustrations I've really had that have been, I think, really no, uh, worth noting. Otherwise, like I said, the game is great. Very much like Overwatch, like I've stated, kind of like in the description of the videos I've showed. Um, but I think the game has a lot of potential. Um... Uh, I, mean, I love the art design. I think the characters, all the characters, seem to be pretty cool. Uh, I was, at first, I was a little kind of disappointed seeing Tyra, just because she's so much like Victor. Um, but and I felt like Victor's already itself is just kind of boring. And I don't know, uh, Victor's pretty cool though. I mean, he does a crap ton of damage without actually having to put much effort in, in my opinion. But like I said, Tyra's really cool. I've been playing a lot of her. I haven't really played much Victor, so I've been trying to play him more just to kind of understand what he's about. Um, I played everyone at least once. Well, that's not true. I don't think I played Kinesa. Is it Kinesa? 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 I'm not a big fan of what I've seen from her, to be honest. So we want to get going here. Had a really good game on Gronk the other day. That was awesome. What's up, boys? Alright, so we got some guys over here talking. That's what we like to see. So it does seem like we need some heals and some uh, a tank. Oh, we got the heals. Can we get the tank too? There's Ruckus. Yeah, I usually do as well. I like to pick whatever we need, but I'm making new, another one of these YouTube videos, so I think I'd be a little selfish. Turn this down just a little bit. My God. Sorry about that, y'all. Alright, so my job here, I'm just kind of going to be going over my mindset, kind of what I'm going to be looking to be doing, which with uh, with Tyra, I think she does really, she synergizes just as most characters are built to, just kind of play well with the team. She's not very flanker. So I'm going to be trying to stay with Ruckus, stay with Ying, and just do as much damage as I possibly can. She's good at holding points just because that, uh, that flame, 
throw that in a good position, you can really just kind of really hold down that entire area. We have Ying, so you definitely can't be mad about that. Let's see, do they have a sky? They don't have a sky. Okay, so that was quite a bit of damage there. They're probably gonna just gonna go with. Them. No, no, I was actually kind of looking on their team to see if they had a sky, but if, I'll tell you there too. Well, you know what? What is the healing looking like? Well, they have Pip. We'll see how good he does. I don't think he warrants their first cauterize by, but we'll see. Okay, kind of going up top. Oh, I'm in trouble. Ah, that was a good point by Evie. I'm dead. Watch your right, boys. She just came up behind us. Probably in my corner. That was a bad position by me. I should have put myself in my corner. Pip has no health. And Jock just is doing some work. We're all down. I'm just going to try and get up here and get damage out. Keep him off it. That does damage two shields at least. That's why I put that on my shield. Ooh. Yep. She was able to dip out. Ooh, nice, good kill, good kill. Try to reposition a little further back so I can still get damage off. Victors are hurting. Oh, a good stun. I'm gonna push in a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna push up this right side. Push up this right side. Be close range. Evie has no health. I was able to get nice. We got two, two down. Pushing them, pushing in. Ah, that sucks. There's three. That's the fourth one, I believe. Okay, we're having a little bit of a lag spike. We got that too. That sucks. All right, good job, boys. All right, we can shut this down though. Up top, here comes Evie. Was that Evie? Was that Pit? Got shots of Victor. And Jox is put some working up top, so I'm just gonna keep trying to lay down fire. I'm trying to get Pip down as fast as possible. Uh, I didn't get to release my mark on him very well. Watch your watch your flank boys. I got Pip down. Evie's hurting horribly. Nice, nice, nice. Like I said, I'm just trying to do the best I can to stay with near Ying and Stay near Ruckus. Keep putting damage out. I mean, you can chase down kills with her, but you really, again, you just your biggest thing is just she does just so much AOE damage. You really want to stay near team, stay near objectives. Well, you can see I do a little bit of a, if I do any movement away from the objective, it's not very far. And she's like Victor, but she doesn't have that same mobility as, as Victor does, so you gotta respect that. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. I'm looking for Evie. I'm, looking for, I'm trying to flank her. Oh, that's not a good spot for me. Nice by her. Ah, dang, I got a flank, got hit hard. That was a nice move by her. Alright, so what do we need? I could probably mind a life right here. Ying is already enough, but that should help me my sustain quite a bit. I haven't looked up any builds for her. Now I'm going to focus Pip. Couldn't make full advantage, took, didn't take full advantage of the all, but that was pretty good ulti. Pretty good ulti. Nice. Okay, so those of you that don't really know what she does, again, just kind of like Victor, she's just auto rifle. Automatic rifle. She does her left trigger fires off that grenade launcher, does some AoE damage. Not bad on, on the damage either. That hunter's mark, just basically you can mark one person, you have to believe you're able to see them through surfaces, but it also does increase damage to them. 
And of course, uh, they got Firebomb, which is also nice. Does just a nice AoE dot damage, so anybody stands in it is just going to get roasted. You can also damage yourself, so you kind of got to watch that shit. But it's got, a, I mean, pretty fat range. And then her ulti, which is pretty amazing. This is very much like Soldier. You just hit Y, you have uh, unlimited ammo, and just fire away, increased. I think you have a little bit increased movement speed, but definitely increased fire rate. It's pretty, you can wipe a team with it that way. Ooh, you got good damage on me. I'm good for the flank. Evie's up top this time. She didn't flank all the way around. No, that's Pit. That's for Evie, so watch out for the Evie. I, I was going to drop. I'm in trouble here. I'm trying. Oh, I just. Wah! That's too bad. That was a bad uh, flame by me. Flame nade. Just <laughs> got stunned into my own nade. I'm going to go for the cauterize now. Nice. Okay, two of us down. Three of us down. Just going to try and touch. I got a good bit of damage on everybody in there. I'm going to try and flank around. Oh no, I'm just going to wait for a team. I get caught out, I'll be in some trouble, so. Ooh. Woo! He almost got me too there. We, that was a good, good burst. Good for us. We gotta get this hill. We need to hug some of these walls a little more. Basically, Evie, Evie's doing a good job on us, so I'm gonna do the best I can to focus her down whenever I get the chance to. Ooh, nice. Love that Evie. Evie and our team is doing a great job, too. Nice shot, boys. Really trying to focus their damage down. Is I'm going to flank around top here because I think I could get a good, good spot here with her. I right, anticipate him going up there. Going to back off this for a second. Looking, definitely looking for this EV. She's going to look at wait for her to dash. There's her dash. I didn't lose track of her. I should have targeted her first. She did also uh, teleport as well, so. Use my flame there to try to make sure I wipe all those turrets at once. Have a little combo. Oh, I missed with the grenade. I should be able to finish him off though. We gotta prioritize him. Oh, he has no health. I should have killed. Got him there. We have ulti, but I think we're gonna hold it. Barrett just dropped down center. He's hurting. Evie's coming up from behind us. I'm gonna mark her now, so when she comes out, just roast her. Good shit. That mark is really good, especially for flanking characters, because flanking characters for the most part get everybody to dip in and then dip out. So it's easy to just kind of at least help them and just keeping track of them when they're doing all their uh, mobile mobile abilities. So I do like that ability, especially since she's not mobile. So I'm ulti here, boys. So ready to rock and roll. Again, our ulti is just uh, what is it it's called crossfire, gaining 40% attack speed and 40% movement speed for 4.5 seconds. Firing does not consume ammo, which is like I said, it's fantastic. You can just wipe a whole squad with that. Under the right circumstances, but a good flank. That's one of those times that I think flanking with her is pretty good because you can just, anybody that runs up on you is usually going to get it. That was a terrible flank made by me. I'm going to try and stay with the ruckus. I'm really going to keep the pressure. Oh, Evie pushed up behind us. Damn it. So did Victor. Oh, fuck. We're in some trouble there. Ah, I shouldn't run up. I am going to pop my all here. No! That stun! Oh my god, that's too bad. That stun was unfortunate. I think I could have wiped that whole squad if I hadn't got stunned there. Just lack of awareness by me there. I didn't see it. It's too bad. I'm sad as fuck. I am keeping trying to keep tabs on the EV. Got played. 
was behind me. Didn't even see him. Okay. Woo. Oh, I'm just trying to stay alive right now. Find the game. He's the only on the middle. Let's go, boys. Good game, fellas. There it is, guys. Again, not the best tower game, but a basic understanding of what she does, what you're looking to be doing. Oh, we got top play. This is probably where I could have killed everybody and got my cock blown out. That was pretty aggressive there. I left my whole backside pretty open. I did it pretty good. Okay. So like I said, guys, that's kind of a basic breakdown of Tyra. Really, again, just wanting to do as much damage. Again, she's a damage dealer. She's in that category, so that's what's to be expected. Uh, she doesn't she doesn't have very much mobility, uh, which makes it kind of hard. Makes her an easy target for characters like Sky. If you're not careful, with Sky, I do recommend characters like if you are going against this guy, maybe get the illumination so you can see her coming, because you could burst her down pretty quickly uh, with the. A couple shots with a good burst for your rifle, uh, especially close range, or just like maybe a rifle combo into uh, your grenade launcher. But, uh, but yeah, Tyra, I think she's a lot of fun, great champion, very basic, not hard to understand. Uh, capable of, I think, making some good plays, especially with that ulti. Uh, if you time that, alt stack that with any of these, couple of these characters, like maybe the Bomb King, something like that, you're talking about, again, Tyra team wipe. So uh, if you're looking to try Tyra, you like doing damage, she's a good character. I'm your man Stride. Make sure you check me out here again, uh, as always, on uh, YouTube and catch me on twitch.tv slash S-T-R-Y-D-3-N. Of course, that'll be linked in the description. Excuse me, in the description. Again, thank you again for joining us. It's your boy. I love you.